Our top story, the latest outbreak of deadly violence in Afghanistan has claimed nine lives as an explosion rocked a market in the north of the country. The attack came ahead of the next transition phase, which will see control of three quarters of the country pass from NATO hands to those of the Afghan security forces. This is the alliance support for the war has hit a new low, Sartis Tessar Silia reports. Afghanistan, October 2001, a NATO-led international military offensive in response to the September 11 attacks in the U.S., largely backed by international partners more than a decade ago. Now, after tens of thousands of casualties and hundreds of billions of dollars later. This will not be quick nor easy. One thing that's not keeping pace is support. Over 70 percent of the U.K. population want our troops out. The figure is, is rising in the U.S. 62 percent last week want to see an end to the war. And this is what it's come down to. Nations breaking ranks with NATO by deciding to pull out troops earlier than planned. France, the fourth largest contributor of troops to the war, saw a rise in anti-NATO rhetoric in its presidential campaign season, with most French in favor of early withdrawal. We will renegotiate the place of France in the integrated military command. We will, however, pull out earlier than expected from Afghanistan. And Australia is the latest nation to make the surprise announcement, raising the question of whether more will follow suit, a potential sticking point at NATO summit in Chicago. No, not at all concerned. Should we stay or should we go? That is a question several members of the alliance from France to Australia have been mulling over 10 years into the war in Afghanistan. But for some of them, the answer is already a foregone conclusion, as it has become increasingly difficult to justify staying on board, what some have already dubbed a sinking ship. The security in, in Afghanistan is worse now than it was 10 years ago when, when the invasion began. Not to mention justifying the cost of war to skeptical Europeans who are already in over their heads with debt. The Afghan war after 10 years is having a disastrous effect on all the countries connected to it. But the clearest way to bring that to, a, to an end and the clearest way to stop the war spilling over the Afghan borders into other countries is to end the occupation now. The advice um, that should be given to all the uh, major powers that are uh, at, uh, at work in Afghanistan is to, is to get out. As some appear to be rushing for the exit, NATO and the U.S. may find themselves wondering who's going to be the last man standing as the water rises.